bad week for crypto. Bitcoin has lost about a quarter of its value, get this, since this morning, Monday. Coinbase just telling employees in an email that it plans to lay off 18 percent of its workforce that comes out. The collapse Bitcoin and a range of other cryptocurrencies. Our next guest is... July 2022. The crypto and stock market have recently collapsed and so did my net worth. We are at the verge of what will probably be one of the biggest recessions we've ever had. And looking back at all my investments I've done last year, I'm pretty much done for all of them. It's almost like if every time I was clicking on this buy button, the market was reacting against me. But hey, that's life. And I honestly think this was due to a simple reason. I was investing out of my emotions instead of following a clear plan. You can never time the market and nothing beats being consistent no matter what's happening. Looking back at all previous bear market, they all look quite ridiculous. And we shouldn't let our emotion distract us for what's happening in the short term, but rather think with a long-term mindset. And you know what has no emotion? A bot. So in this video, I will be coding a very simple bot that follows a strategy called dollar cost average and buy a small amount of crypto every now and then. In my opinion, the best time to invest in crypto is now. And this time around, I don't want to be missing out on discounted cryptos. Okay, so before coding anything, we need to define the specs of the bot. And let's start by the strategy. So I'm not inventing anything here. It's actually a very safe strategy used by most serious investors. The bot won't be really trading something, but will be more buying crypto on regular intervals. This is more commonly called dollar cost averaging. That means that instead of buying out of your emotion and following when crypto are moonings, the bot will be automatically buying them following the same strategy regardless of the market condition. On the long run, it increases the chances of profit, making it a perfect and easy strategy to follow. Okay, honestly, I really think that I could have been done by by hand, but I really want to automate as much as I could in my life. And also, I know myself, I would either forgot to buy or buy at the wrong moment. So remember, the goal is to remove our emotion from the equation. So the more you automate, the less chance you have to do mistakes. Okay, let's define now what the bot will be buying. Remember, this is not financial advice. I'm a terrible investor and you probably shouldn't follow what I'm doing. Okay, so in my... In my particular situation, I want to invest $1,000 monthly that I will split in four buys. I will buy 40% of Bitcoin, 40% of Ethereum, 10% of Cardano and 10% of Solana. After doing a few research online, I found that on average, the best day to buy cryptos is on Sundays. But I really want to spread my buys along the whole week. So the bot will be executing the strategy every day at 8 a.m. UK time which typically represents for a day $30 of Bitcoin, $30 of Ethereum, $3 of Cardano and $3 of Solana. Okay, now that we know the strategy, let's talk a bit more about the tech that I want to use. The first thing that comes into my mind is serverless. Simply put, serverless is a function written in JavaScript that lives in the cloud that you can call whenever you need it to. The cool thing with that is that you can allocate a cron job to a serverless function. If you don't know what a cron job is, it's actually a very simple way to define recurring tasks, which is perfect for our use case. Okay, we know the strategy, we know the tech, and now we know somewhere to buy crypto, right? So for that, we need a crypto exchange. A crypto exchange is a place where you can buy and sell your cryptos. And for that, I decided to use Binance. Why, you may ask? Uh, that's, a, that's a very good question. Mainly because I've been using it for the past two years. I'm too lazy to create an account on another platform, but also because they have a very cool API, making it the perfect candidate for our use case. Okay, at the end of this project, I will be open sourcing everything. So you'll be able to set up the exact same thing on your own. And maybe who knows, either make profit or lose money like me. <laughs> okay, now that it kind of makes sense, let's start to code it. Okay, so I've been working on that yesterday and I noticed that someone did the exact same thing that what I want to do, which was quite helpful actually, because I went through the repo that you can see here. And this is basically exactly what I want to do using Binance uh, and so on. So I shamelessly took some of the code which was really helpful. It helped me to go so much faster. So yeah, God bless uh, open source. <laughs> but the issue with this repo is that you have to run your own servers. So I took some of the logic, I migrated it into mine, and now you have basically the same type of thing using serverless. 
which is completely free and maintenance free. I found another problem, like usual, when you cut something, there's always something that you didn't plan. And this is exactly what's happening right now. Basically, Binance only allows a minimum buy of $10, which wouldn't work with my strategy. So I have two solutions uh, right now. Either I increase my monthly budgets or I'm decreasing the amount of buying days. Um, I'm not that degenerate <laughs> right now, so what I will do, I will choose to decrease the amount of day my bot buys crypto. So now instead of buying every single day, the bot will be buying every Sundays and every Wednesdays. So now I reach a point where everything should be working, but before giving any money to my bot, I want to make sure that everything works perfectly. So for that, I will use uh, Binance's test API, uh, API and also I will be writing some unit tests. So let's do that right now. Okay, so I've been working on this for the whole afternoon. Uh, I thought it would be simple, I thought it would be quick, but like usual with everything I do with code, I end up spending <laughs> maybe 10 times more than uh, what, I, what I expected, but hey, that's life <laughs> again. So I reach a point where I think I have something that kind of rocks. So I explain what I mean by that. So I, I wrote this uh, unit test and the thing is, every time I ru I'm running them, I'm having uh, mixed results. And after spending some time uh, online, I thought I was doing something wrong. But it turns out that Binance's testnet API is a bit clunky. And uh, sometimes it returns successes. Sometimes it returns like completely random error. Like, I, can't, uh, I can't display like successes because I don't have them right now. But like, yeah, this one tells me that I have a notion of balance. This one tells me that it's invalid symbol. So what I will do is I will clean up my code. I will push that into um, a function uh, in production. And I will just like, give it a shot, like <laughs> with a very little amount of money, because I think that on, on mainnet, uh, everything will work perfectly. So it's maybe a bit dangerous, but I think I'm in a good place right now. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> let's do that. Okay, so now the code is working. The next step for me is to fund my Binance account and to let the bot blast its first order, I guess. <laughs> it's a bit scary, I hope you won't be draining everything in one go. But hey, at least I need to try it now. So as I'm recording this video, we are Sunday. So it was supposed to place an order every Sunday and Wednesday, but I'm not patient enough to wait until next Wednesday. So I will just update the code to place, uh, place an order on Monday, uh, which is tomorrow, just for the sake of testing. So yeah, let's wait and see what happens. Okay, so today is Monday, it's final testing day. Uh, like usual with everything, I was supposed to receive an email at 7 p.m. and I was staring at my email uh, app like that, <laughs> waiting for the notification to arrive. And it never arrived actually. <laughs> so I had to check why. And actually yesterday I misconfigured my cron job um, syntax. So I had to rewrite it again. And while I was pushing it to a time that was close to to now, basically, I made it work two times in a row by mistake. So this is what you can see in my, in my emails now. I received two email notifications from the bot. Uh, but yeah, at least it works. Uh, now I have a uh, few Bitcoin, few Ethereum, few Solana here, and few other. So yeah, I will be using that from now on to automate my finances. I mean, my crypto finances. If you want to use it yourself, it will be super easy. I will be open sourcing everything and I will try to make a readme that kind of makes sense for everyone. Okay, so that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. At least I did. If you have any idea of other project I can be coding next, please just like drop a comment or something so we can chat about it. And yeah, that's it. Uh, see you on the next one. Bye.